By way of getting introduced to MATLAB, let's take a look at using MATLAB as a simple calculator. I have the MATLAB window open and also a calculator open for a comparison. For example, you can add numbers together. You can form the difference of two numbers. You can multiply two numbers and divide. Reciprocal operation, or the 1 over x on the calculator, we could do as 1 divided by 5, or we could do 5 raised to the power negative 1. And we get the same result as what we had on the calculator. Let's look at the exponent function on the calculator, 5 raised to the power 3. The modulo division operator is Typically, a percent sign in a lot of computer languages, you'll see that in MATLAB, percent indicates a comment. Let me try doing a search with help when. Looks like modulo is not in there. Let's look for just mod by itself. Hey, there it is. Modulus after division is the formal name for this. Mod takes two values, 9 and 5, and it says 9 divided by 5, the remainder is 4. Let's try the square root operation. Looks like that matches, and there we see agreement for the first six digits. Let's try some operations involving powers of 10 and the log operation. 10 squared is 100. If we do the log of 100, that undoes the operation, and we have Whoops, thought we were supposed to have two as we did on the calculator back there. Let's try log base 10 of 100. Oh, there we have agreement. There we see the results match for two. Let's try that value again of 100. If we do the natural log in the calculator, we see that's the same value that we had in MATLAB. So just LOG by itself, that's natural log. All right, let's try some trigonometric operations. I've got pi divided by 4. We have agreement there. Let's do cosine of that. Also point out that you can recycle your previous answer. You can simply type ANS. All right, not seeing agreement there. Note that in the calculator we had cosine where the argument is expressed in degrees. And there is a version in MATLAB for that, cos d. Now we have agreement between the calculator and MATLAB. If we switch the calculator into radians mode and do the same thing, pi divided by 4, and then press cosine, we have 0.7071. If I take off the d, we have the same value in MATLAB. All right, let's take a look at evaluating a basic algebra expression here or at least, a, I guess we would call a compound arithmetic expression. Do the usual expressions or sequence of key presses on the calculator and we get the result 0.25. If we were doing the same thing in MATLAB, use parentheses to make clear which, per, which operations are supposed to be performed first. And it looks like I forgot the negative one. Let's do that. And we have the same value, of course, 0.25. You can see all of the various elementary functions that are available by typing help win L fun for elementary functions. Do take a look at the list. You'll find that there's lots of useful things you can do with MATLAB as a basic calculator.